All right, y'all, I am out and about. I am heading into JLo. Well, there's a bunch of, y'all see that? There's a bunch of seagull butts up there. All right. Oh, uh, there's what? Seagull butts. Seagull butts. <laughs> you don't see the seagulls? Oh. <laughs> We just picked up Little Boy Blue. We're heading into the wig slash hair salon place. They sell face masks and all kinds of stuff, as you can see. It's not just about the hair weave. They got jewelry. They got clippers. They got wigs. They got everything. They have everything. They even have head models. Yep. Lots and lots and lots of wigs. is being bothered by the floor because the wood flooring walk across the floor <laughs> if you guys can hear that crackling sound the boards move a little bit yeah there's a um, lot of cracking beautiful yes, mannequins yeah. though look at this gorgeous eyelashes and all anyway um my wig game is not up i know about the lace front but what is this i don't know what this is called and you get the little and look at this it's got two strings and then nothing here I guess that's how they make you look like you have a natural hairline I'm not sure because when your girl was working for the city of Tampa I just threw on a regular wig which is called a half wig because you're supposed to let your own hair be in the front whatever they stretch I pulled that joker to the front put the comb in the front put a little hairband across the top I probably have some old videos showing it I just tripped over some weave back there in my act like I didn't I'm liking that red. I'm thinking my next color is going to be red, y'all. I might go over there and go get a red right now. Okay, um, if you look back at my videos, I have a video about quick nails where I put on just cheap dollar store nails with nail glue. So there's the nail glue here at this store. And here is the acrylic version. Look at that. Kiss. Nail brand I love. They come in all kinds. And they've got your stilettos. Look at this. It's gorgeous. I mean, you can just put these on with glue and save yourself that $25, $30 at the nail salon. Look at these. And these. Mm. And here I was thinking I was going to do an S&S. Which apparently is like a, I don't know what it stands for, but apparently it's some kind of a wrap, like a silk wrap that they put on your nails. Uh, well, I'm not going to say silk wrap. Let me take that back. You dip, they put a liquid on and you dip your nail into natural nails into powder and it sticks kind of like acrylic, but they can't fill it. So you have to have it taken off every time and then put back on like a full set every time. I'm thinking I might just grab some nails from here and call it a day and just that'll be it you know i just wear these because now that they have them in acrylics that's super heavy duty not like the plastic ones at the dollar tree it's not as cheap but still that'll do the job y'all all right so i'm back over here i just noticed they have them in gel also look at this like how beautiful are those they're freaking gorgeous i mean they've got all kinds of designs going on here i think i'm gonna grab me a pair of these Okay, I'm useless. Um, $7.99. That's how much these are. I can't make it focus better. Sorry. So I just need to pick one. Okay, I am looking at hair colors now. These are the Adore that I've mentioned many times when I do my hair coloring videos. Pink Rose is what I have in the thumbnail. 
Um, Fiesta Fuchsia is another color that I've used quite a bit, but I'm thinking I'm going to try a red, like a bright red. Guys, newsflash, um, wait, what? Is this gaming related? No, this is, this is actually pretty funny. Um, meteors are actually just giant potatoes in space. <laughs> Says my mad scientist. Alright, so... For reds, I'm looking at ruby red, crimson. I don't want wild cherry. That looks like it's darker. And then there's raging red, but that one, and look, vegan and cruelty free. For those of you wondering. So, uh, I gotta pick a red. I don't know which one I want yet. I'm thinking crimson because that looks like it's the brightest one. I want to play Grand Craft. Kind of like Minecraft, but worse. He's gaming. Imagine that. I'm thinking crimson. It looks the brightest. Mom's ready to check out, so I have to go. Okay, why am I filming this? Okay, so guys, you see these? These two. Guys, you see these worlds that say created today? I actually didn't make them today. I made them yesterday. What are you doing? I'm trying to get around here. <laughs> you made them yesterday. Yeah. It, you know the two my worlds? Actually, all of them are my world, but... But these two right here, let's say today on them. No. Up here. See, today? Mm hmm Those were actually yesterday, so what the heck? Technology flaw. My neck is starting to turn into the 45-year-old neck. <laughs> anyway. We're getting ready to get out of the hair store. Um, we have to go get some more goodies for my daughter's birthday box. Her birthday is a week from today. Today is Monday. Monday, yeah, Monday. For those of you who okay. may or may not have you seen walk over in and or come heard, back yes, yes. May or may not have seen, I have um, finally joined the world of Instagram. I am not a huge social media junkie, so I don't feel the need to be on every platform that's out there. But I do realize that it does help with the YouTube-ism. And I don't know what's going on with the blocking of people's comments lately and blocking. That is a huge plane. I always wonder how they can fly so slow. It looks like they're moving so slow. Yeah, it's a nasty storm going over there. But, um, I always wonder, like, how it is. Gotta get one of these papers. I'm filming right now. Will y'all both leave me alone? Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, well, that tornado can rain. stay over there, because that's an ugly sky over there. I hope it's gonna rain so I can make a gaming video. It probably will. Because we already... He's obsessed with gaming videos. I gotta get out in the sun. I don't know what's going on with the lighting on this camera. I apologize. Anyway, I finally joined the world of Instagram. You can find me at my finger. Just underscore Jen 73. J-U-S-T a little underline J-E-N-N 73 because apparently all the other Just Jens had been taken, which I find that hard to believe, but Mm-hmm. Yep. I need to be eating a little sandwich right now. So there's a beauty school here. They've changed so many stores here. Man, that sky is like hideously ugly. You guys might not think so, but that's bad. That's ugly bad news back there. That means some rain, like thunderstorm rain is coming. Probably with some high winds. So yesterday was supposed to be like 70%, 80%, but it really wasn't. So. You can walk, it's good for exercise. I know. My mother, I walk all day, she does not. All I do is anyway, sit back we're and passing relax. all the little stores here. I'm gonna try to get some stuff to get together for a baby girl's birthday. Um, my only daughter, she's gonna be 22 in a week. So we have to get her some goodness. Um, Mom, can you please Why am I filming this? Chase is highly amused that a cart is flipped sideways. Why is it flipped this way? I don't know. But your grandmother is leaving us, as she always does, so we kind of need to get across here.
All of them are flipped to the oh, but that one's moment. flipped like on its face. Like like oh. Okay, so this plaza is getting very, very diverse. Okay, we have MD Oriental, which is the store we're going to go into. I've done videos on that. Uh, I've got to get my box from the post office here for my daughter. Um, here is Grape Leaf, which is Lebanese food. I don't know that I've had it before. Takai Sushi. And then way in the corner, we've got First Choice Barbecue. Talk about mixing it up. I could just put a tent up and like live here. <laughs> Send my daughter and my son. Not send my son, but buy them crazy gifts when I buy them. I'm dropping my newspaper. Give me a second. Ew. Sorry, my nails in the way. I know. Um, anyway, they have a lot of cool drinks here that we don't typically drink in the U.S. This one is a young coconut juice, and if you guys can see it, it has pieces of coconut floating in it. See if I can get it to show better. See it? Oh yeah, I see the pieces. Okay. I'm gonna okay. film directly at the bottle. You guys can see it better that way. So I will send things like that to. Whoa, sorry, my daughter and my son when he's not here, but he's been here, so there's no reason for me to get it. This is so cool. It's some kind of a lan. I don't know what that means, but it comes with a little straw on the side, and it looks like it's in a like a little coffee cup. Very cool. Love the packaging. I love unique packaging. Um, okay, there's strawberry milk, coconut. Um, I'm not sure what this is, but it looks kind of thick and chunky. My daughter loves the boba teas, which are a big juicy balls of something or other. I guess that's the boba. Um, this one is a lychee drink. Watch out, Chaser. Um, anyway, I'm looking for a basil drink that she likes that actually has a little bit of banana juice in it. Now how you juice a banana? Props to you. But, um, they haven't had it the last few times I've been here. They quit carrying it, so hopefully they have it today. Okay, I just have to film this. Bird's nest. White fungus. There is a fungus among us. It's 99 cents. Hey, it can't hurt. Throw that in the box. You can try it out. <laughs> okay, the only problem with this store is that most of the people who work here are native speakers, so they do not speak English very well, or they don't understand when you ask them questions. Um, they may speak a little English, but again, it's much like me with my Spanish. When you try to have a conversation with me, it's not going to happen, but I can kind of tell you things here and there. So I have got coconut custard buns. I got two of those, one for me and one for the girl child. And if you all ever thought there was only one type of ramen, <laughs> let me enlighten you. And 
And on to the weird part of the store. I got my daughter a teapot. Um, I'm not going to film it just because of the fact that she may see the video or watch the video and I don't want her to see what it looks like. So it's a very small teapot. It's a very small one. So she can make like a single serving of tea. And it's just in the basket right here. Yep, but we're not going to show it. We're not going to show it. He's trying to give it away. I'm going to show you guys the gross part of the store. <laughs> All right, so yeah, there are chicken feet. Oh, dear Lord. Fresh chicken hearts. Those are kind of small. I would think it'd be a little bigger. All right, let's see what else we can see. Have you? Mm, pig tongues. I'm hoping this doesn't fog up the camera because of the fact that it's got cold air blowing over all these things. There's pork liver. Okay, here's a pork heart. Much bigger than a chicken heart. Comment down below if you puke yet. <laughs> pork spleen. Oh dear lord. There is pork uterus. How is their uterus so small? Okay, it's sliced up, so maybe that's why. And duck feet, much bigger than chicken feet. Uh, duck wings. Oh dear lord, there's the whole duck head. If you guys can see that. The whole duck head. Sliced pork uterus again, but this one is really red compared to the other one. And duck hand, which... Ducks don't have hands, so I'm gonna yeah, guess so that's just the wing tip. Ew. Okay, fresh part of the market. Move over. Move left. Sorry. This is where all the fish are. Trying to let somebody go by. I want to buy these guys and like put them in an aquarium and save their life, but they have. Um... Ah. Can you pick that up and put it on the shelf, please? Fresh fish. Yeah, and I dead just, fish. I, I want to buy them all. I know that. They always have them here, Mom. I know that. I'm filming. You're going to have to wait. She has zero patience whatsoever. Okay, these tanks are really cloudy. Well, look at the size of these crabs. They're huge. Oh my god, look at these. Are these eels? Yep. yep. Oh my There's god. There's a crab those, saying, those hello, are, save me. Please get me out of here. I feel bad for them. I really do. We have some electric boys in here. Yeah, there's some eels. Oh, dear Lord. Oh little, God, okay, oh time God, for me to go crab. shop. Hook crabs? And they're way bigger than I thought. Jeez. You didn't realize they were that big? Yeah, I didn't know that crabs were that big. Oh, that's not <laughs> Don't believe me, just watch. So we're at the Asian market and one of the sad sections is where all of the fish and live animals are waiting to be bought. But look how they've lined up. Picture opportunity. Wish I could take you guys all home and put you in a pond. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, um, another highly disturbing moment. I'm in the freezer section and uh, some poor duck has his feet sticking out of a bag. <laughs> I also have frozen eggs over here. What are these? I guess they're eggs. Oh, cooked salted duck eggs. Don't those look small? Duck eggs are bigger. Alright, she found us some basil drinks. And then I've got lots of hockey, which are little flavored sticks. Sense. Yes. Sorry. Chase, get that, please. Oh, yeah. Pikachu! Lots of hockey. Look at that! to avoid the teapot shot. <laughs> got her some little rock candy. I don't know if it's gum or chocolate, but from uh, my experience, it's been chocolate. So she's going to have a good birthday box. If I see anything else cool during the week, I'll grab it and then I'll mail it out maybe like three or four days before. That way she can get it because she's way on the west coast.
This box is special. My gang signs are off. <laughs> and I'm on the East Coast, so we'll see. Fashionista. <laughs> All right, so we are headed into the Walmart market by the house here to try and pick up some tea and coffee because after all of that and getting distracted in the store, I totally forgot. I did get the ginger candy, but I totally forgot to get teas and coffees, something that my daughter loves. So we're going in here to grab a few. I'm going to try to get some odd flavored things or some unique ones and maybe oatmeal. Somewhere I saw birthday cake flavored oatmeal and I cannot remember what store it was at. I suck. Okay, I'm being the good citizen. Um, somebody, one of their employees, left this scanner looking thingy in between items on the shelf. So I'm going to take it to customer service. Ladies, Just gonna say, check your rear view. Because if I can see you wearing some lacy, frosty underwear, everybody else can see it too. Watch what you wear. All right, so we got to check out, and then baby boy blue over here decides he needs a donut after we just were at the donut section. So don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when the next episode of Jen Crazy is going on. And mom is at the register without and our we basket. Might, and we might be missing yeah, our Minecraft series. We still haven't gone to that. To get the basket? Because all our groceries are over here? Where am I going? To get what you didn't get? To pick up your slack? <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. Alrighty, everybody, we are dirty lens. I haven't done that in a while. Um, we are back home from Walmart, and I'm going to turn on a little bit more lighting. There we go. That hair, girl, what's up with that? Anyway, um, we are back from Walmart, and I am going to make a quick cooking video on something that I love from Walmart. Now, this one I have not tried. But they have, um, this is a Walmart market, so that's a smaller version of Walmart. It's more like a grocery store only, without all the housewares and things. Um, they have a market side spicy sizzler. So it's basically a flatbread. Um, it's a pretty good size, as you can see. <clears throat> These are $5. They had many different flavors, everything from regular cheese to bacon chicken ranch, uh, pepperoni, one with like ham and pineapple and this one I have not tried before so I wanted to try it. Um, we are all fans of spicy food in this house except for my girl child Sierra and of course little boy blue. Um, but um, it's just me and mom home right now so instead of getting one of the Walmart pizzas which are very good I decided to get the flatbread. We haven't done this in a very long time. Um, they had a buffalo chicken one there too. I was kind of torn. That one had Frank's hot sauce which I guess the commercial says, I put that on everything. So <laughs> it's a little old lady. It's pretty funny. Anyway, so this one says a spicy sizzler. Did you get that? Spicy sizzler flatbread is um, seasoned beef patty crumbles. So cheeseburgerish uh, with blackened chicken breast. Um, jalapeno peppers and sliced pepperoni. I had to make sure that's pepperoni and not pepperoncini, which is the peppers. Should have left my glasses on. Uh, sliced pepperoni on a thin crust. <clears throat> so, cooking is very simple. It tells you right on the front of the package. It is right there. 10 to 12. So, basically, we are going to... Let me flip it over. We've been out shopping for a while, so it's kind of... It's not that it was frozen, it was already just in the cold section near the deli. Um, kind of when you walk in the store, it's like on an end cap before you get to the vegetables and stuff. So that's where they display them. And we are going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Remove the plastic and the cardboard. For those of y'all that are showing up on the short bus. No offense to anyone that rides a short bus, by the way. That was just a sad attempt at humor. Um carefully place the flatbread on the baking sheet. I guess it's delicate. <laughs> Not really. 
Um, in the preheated oven for 10 to 12 minutes or until the crust is golden brown and the cheese is melted. And then it says when you remove it, let it cool for one to two minutes before you slice it. Simple people. I'm all about quick and simple. So I will be back in just a moment. I'm going to get my pan ready. All right. Little boy is going to have a Nathan's hot dog for lunch with some chips, and then he's going to eat his chocolate donut, which I have to warm up just a bit to put some. Walmart only has the glazed donuts with the um, chocolate on top of them icing. Stop. Listen, Linda. Um, they only have those. Sorry, I'm getting my temperature up to the 400 range where I need it. There we go. So I'm pre eating that. Anytime I make something that doesn't really dirty the foil, like say biscuits or some bread or just warm something in the oven, I save the foil. There's no reason to waste it. So I'm going to open up my saved foil and I'm going to place that on top of my pan down here. And it's a nonstick pan, but still. Why do dishes if you don't have to? I'm just saying. So this foil is already sprayed because of the bread that I cooked in here, but I'm going to go ahead and spritz it a little more. Got my great value spray down here. Well, now it's over there. Oh, I love Jennifer. All right, so I'm just going to spritz this on here. They do have these in flavors, by the way. For those of you who may want to make this have a little flavoring to it, you can use your olive oil spray, rosemary, and garlic. I've seen many different flavored sprays. Not only does it keep your stuff from sticking, but you can spray the spray on your food. You can spray it on the pizza, on your bread, whatever, and it's going to give it that flavor. And people go, oh my gosh, you're putting cooking spray on your food. Hello, genius. You already put your food on the cooking spray, so it's no different. And they are made to be edible. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to use them. <laughs> Just saying. So anyway, got my oven preheating, as you can see. Got the pre going on right there. Got my foil. I just need to foil, wrap it around the pan, which requires two hands, so I have to go. Okay, my hands are all kinds of greasy right now, but luckily they do have a very simple packaging here to open this up. No, I didn't make it look simple. I'm about to break my glasses. Um, basically, it's just wrapped in the plastic here, and there's a bit of cardboard on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that open, and I'll be back. I got it for both of us. Alrighty, it has been 10 minutes, so we are done. Let's turn that off. Look at that melted cheesy goodness. I just steamed up the lens, sorry about that. <laughs> That's why I got no kind of focus going on right now. Now we shopped for a little while, so this was like warmer than the refrigerated temperature that it would have been at in the Walmart cooler. So I probably, I didn't go for the 12 minute mark. Um, 10 minutes even probably was a bit much. But I think it's crispy enough on the bottom. One moment. You got a complaint for the kitchen? Look at those arms, look at that attitude. What's that face, what's wrong with you? A hot dog is missing ketchup. Oh dear, that is an emergency. <laughs> Look at that attitude. Ugh. Kids, so dramatic. Tragedy adverted, he has ketchup now. Um, sometimes he wants it, sometimes he doesn't, so. Yeah, turn off the oven light, because for some reason I've left it on. I've got to get my spray cap from way across the kitchen where it flew earlier when I was filming. And I am actually going to have a Nathan's hot dog as well. This is the jumbo which I've just nuked in the microwave. And I bought relish today. I don't eat relish very often on my hot dogs, but I'm in the mood for relish. So I'm gonna put mustard, ketchup, and relish on mine. But um, instead of having a plain hot dog like I did last time with no bread, and I'm not gonna go for the regular old bun, I am going to have some nature's own perfectly crafted, which is very soft. Um, and this is the whole multi-grain bread. So I'm going to wrap my hot dog in that. It's a little bit healthier. 
So I just had to film this. Look at this nature's own perfectly crafted multi-grain bread. This thing has so many bits and pieces of who knows what. I don't even know. It looks like little onion pieces, but that's not what it is. It's just different kinds of grains. Pure, sheer craziness. Good stuff. But that's going to be what I wrap my hot dog in. So come here, Nathan. There you go. So here is my flatbread. I'm going with the paper plate today. No fancy plating. And um, yeah, that's looking really good. So let me turn the camera around and I will let you know how it tastes. She makes everything difficult. So pepperoni, there's chicken. I don't think I can get all of those in there because they're on two different ends of the pizza, but I can get the beef. Oh, hot. Hot pizza. Mmm. Other than being obscenely hot out of the oven, it's got a good amount of spice to it. It's got some kick. So I would recommend this for people who like spicy food. Flavor is amazing though. Seasonings are great. It has just the slightest bit of sauce. I don't know if you guys can see that. Very little. Sometimes flatbreads don't have sauce and I didn't expect it to have sauce, but it's actually really good. Great flavors of garlic, some onion. Definitely the jalapenos are kicking the heat up. The beef is seasoned as well. The blackened chicken is on another piece, so I'm sure that'll be good as well. Mm. Very good. White meat chicken. Huge chunks. Most of it got put on her slice and over there, but not a lot of chicken, so I would recommend you spread it out evenly if you're going to cut it up for more than one person. Ooh. The burn is real, though. Anyway, good stuff, y'all. I recommend you try it. Five bucks, Walmart Market, and they also have it at the regular Walmarts near your deli section where the pizzas, Walmart's pizzas are laid out there. Flatbreads. Check them out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And watch our Minecraft videos. Also, Plants vs. Zombies too, and pretty much any gaming video. Always throws a gaming plug in there. Those videos aren't even up yet. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Minecraft isn't up yet. It's two Plants vs. Zombies ones are up. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.